It's award season here at TRC and welcome to the best running jackets of 2022. We've broken them all down into categories so that you can find the best fit of jacket for you this winter. Andy, what are you wearing? Well, I'm the only one that's made an effort. It's, a, it's an award ceremony. <laughs> right, okay. Um, what's up first? First up, we've got the nominations for the most breathable jacket. And they are? The Innovate Storm Shell Jacket. And the Ultra Jacket from Saw. Right, let's get them out. So first up, let's talk about this Innovate Storm Shell Jacket. Really nice to look at, love the colour. It's also perfect for if you've got a race with mandatory kit on it. So this is in the breathable category. However, there is so much tech in this jacket. It's got a 20,000 rating for both waterproofing and breathability, which is really high up in the scale. And as the jacket performance goes, it's really good, isn't it? Yeah, and we've included the breathability category first because this is the thing that most people ask about when they're talking about waterproof. Are they gonna get too sweaty inside? And ultimately this jacket, the Innovate jacket, could very definitely have appeared in our nominations. It's a, for the waterproof category because it's brilliant from that perspective, but also incredibly breathable overall. Yeah, 100%. It's a great all-rounder jacket. You've got a hood. If you unzip it, you've also got a popper for if you do get too hot, even though it is a very breathable jacket, you've got a popper. It does slightly turn into a bit of a cape <laughs> with the popper on but if you do get too hot that's a really really great thing for not just having to have your jacket fully open it's also got thumb holes if that's what's important for you and a pocket as well which actually you'd be surprised not that many jackets have good pockets and this one's really good yeah more pockets means more waterproofing and tape seams required so actually to do it properly is really difficult but innovative and managed it so then that leads us on to the ultra jacket from saw so the biggest difference here is that there's no hood so we talked about mandatory kit lists and being on perhaps more of an adventure in the mountains and the trails and so on. If you are gonna be stuck out in the elements, then you need a hood. But on the saw jacket, actually, whenever I was training seriously and running that a little bit faster in, in rainy conditions, actually I preferred to have a hat on um, and then a jacket without a hood and not have anything flapping around. Also, if weight is a big concern, then the hood does drop the weight a little as well. So this jacket weighs around 144 grams, whereas the Innovate is up to 175. I know that sounds small, but it might make a difference. And it actually uses a proprietary fabric from Saw, so their very own fabric design, which is both waterproof and breathable. Um, and because it's from Saw, it's beautifully put together. Um, and in this case, pretty stealthy, actually. The design's really lovely, like there's nothing to kind of be offended by. Um, so really good option overall. Excellent jacket for running in London where everyone just wants something that's plain and simple. It's also got a great pocket, but yeah, there's a design category coming up later on, but this definitely could have featured in it. Brilliant. Okay, well now we need to think about who the overall winner is. So most breathable jacket of 2022 goes to Innovate Storm Shell Jacket. Saw was an excellent contender, but Innovate just has so much tech packed into it that it had to win this category. Next up, it's the category for the best value jacket overall. And there's only one winner here. We haven't even bothered with nominations. No, so the one that we've chosen is the Everdict Trail Running Long Sleeve Waterproof Jacket. Now we've got this in yellow. It also comes in black if you don't want something as kind of bright. And this jacket really does do everything for quite a small price. We do have other jackets within this roundup that are cheaper, however, the amount that you get for your money has to put this jacket in the best value for money category. Yeah, so if I take hold of the men's version, which is the black version here, you're getting a full hooded jacket. Um, you're getting tape seams, it's waterproof. Um, so a lot of the cheaper jackets that we're gonna talk about a little bit later on are a good value, but you don't get waterproofing with them. So this is a waterproofing level of 10,000, which is half what you get in the Innovate, but still a really good level of protection if you're going to be out on the trails, which ultimately Everdict is Decathlon's trail running brand. It's also just got quite a nice level of attention to detail. You've got a peaked hood, which is quite nice. So you're not going to have the rain dripping in your eyes. You've got pockets. Also, my favorite feature is it comes with a little bag. So if you want to go out for the day, you're not sure if it's going to be raining, the jacket fits into this tiny little bag and you can chuck it in your pack if you are going trail running or just in your bag for commuting if you're scared it's going to rain, like it does in the UK all the time. <laughs> and it's lightweight, it's stylish, I think. And actually one of the things I really like about Everdict and Decathlon's running apparel in general is that actually the branding is very light touch. So from a distance, you can't really tell what it is. It's just, it's just a really nice piece of running clothing. And then a final tip is that I find that Decathlon's sizing comes up a little bit small. So I go up one size in Decathlon's apparel. Yeah, but if you're looking for something that does it all for not that much money, then this is the jacket for you. Next up, we're on to visibility, and the nominations are the Sun Dried 360 Reflective Jacket, the Reflect 360 Jacket from Provis, and the Brooks Run Visible Convertible Jacket. 
Now that's a jacket that you know a little bit more about than I do. In fact, take a look at these shots of Sarah trying this jacket on in a field before we sent it into space, which is why we don't have it on the rack behind us. Very, very cool. It's an excellent jacket. And if that's not cool enough, I love the fact that you can pack this jacket into itself and then it turns into a backpack. So if you've ever been in a situation where you've headed out for a run, you've overestimated how cold it is and then suddenly you're stuck with having to turn your jacket into a cape or fold it up or I've even done it tucking a full jacket into a side yeah, or pocket. Or tying it around your waist, it's just a pain having it flap around when you've got a bit too hot. Really annoying. Whereas this one you can literally pack into itself and then it turns into a backpack, which I think is very cool. Very cool. Very visible too, but not quite as visible as these next ones we're going to talk about. So next up is the Proviz Reflect 360. Um, so interestingly, this I don't think ever looks reflective on camera, but if you've ever seen anybody out in the street cycling or running wearing one of these, they are almost blindingly bright. It's actually, the technology is incredible. So um, you can't go too far wrong from a visibility perspective. Um, the problem often with this kind of fabric, which is super reflective, is it's not super breathable. These definitely wouldn't make the cut in the most breathable jacket category. But if you take a look at the back, um, they've still got these really substantial reflective panels, so you're still not going to get missed, but you've got a very thin, breathable material on the back. So if it's raining really heavily, this is not going to keep you dry, but hopefully it's going to stop you from getting too sweaty if you're trying to be seen in the cold, dark winter weather, essentially. Yeah, and if you've got a running pack on whilst you're running, then this is great because it allows breathability through the back, but you've still got reflective on the front. However, if that's not quite visible enough for you, then We've also chosen a bit of a rogue one here, this from Sundried. Now this technically is a cycling jacket, however, the sleeves zip off. So I think personally, I've enjoyed running in this. I think if you're going for an easy run, if you're going for a really hard session, then this is definitely not breathable enough. But if reflectivity is what you need, then this has it the whole way round. So if you're running on quiet country roads or somewhere where it is just a little bit dangerous visibility wise, then this is an excellent choice. You've got a big pocket on the back. Like I say, you can zip the sleeves off and then just wear it as a gilet. Excellent if you're a cyclist commuter as well. So you want something that's versatile for your runs and your cycles. Really good all round jacket this. And the award for the most visible running jacket goes to the Proviz Reflect 360. Because it's a specialist running jacket, the breathability elements at the back and just the amount of reflectivity and visibility can't be beaten. Okay, next up, we've got the expertly named coolest looking running jacket, which clearly I am, <laughs> <laughs> clearly I am in the best position <laughs> to judge. It's all right, don't worry, I'll let you, I'll make the decision for you. So the nominees are... The weather jacket from On. The Under Armour Storm Outrun the Cold jacket. The Adidas Terex Agrovic Windweave Wind Pro jacket and the Puma Woven Favourite Running Jacket. Oh, the jackets are better than our delivery of the names. Oh, the Puma Favourite Woven Running Jacket. <sighs> but they look cool. <laughs> <laughs> we, we think, we think there's been a lot of debate in the office about this. So Tom, who stood behind the camera over here, has a very clear favourite, uh, which Should maybe we start we'll, we'll, we'll start with that, yeah. So this is the first jacket on our roundup that doesn't have a full length zip. So it's a half length zip. It's also slightly see-through, so if you do have a race number on in a, an ultra event um, or something like that, then you can see your race number through it. Or if you have a really cool top, then don't worry, you can still see it in the winter. So anything that says running channel on it, for example? <laughs> yeah, it would be great. It's got a hood and Tom said to mention that the whole jacket packs into this tiny little pouch within the hood as well, which is very cool and handy. Yeah, and there's a degree of waterproofing here in terms of the, the, the DWR durable waterproof repellent. I think that's what it stands for finish, um, which means that the water will roll off, but that will wear off over time. Um, and it's mainly focused on being windproof, essentially. Yeah, but a great one to have in your bag if you're looking for something windproof when you're out on a run. Brilliant. Okay, next up, the Puma jacket. Yes, this one is definitely one of my favourites. It is simple, sleek. It's not necessarily the most waterproof of jackets, but if you want something to throw on if you're running to the track, I will always wear this jacket to the track do a lap, warm up, wearing this, and then take it off, and then I can wear it cycling home or running home as well. Yes, yeah, definitely, it's not really for protection against the elements, it's just an extra layer, but they're reflected in that is actually, it's really good value. So this is a third of the price of a lot of the other jackets. Yeah, and it's just a really nice breathable layer to just throw over the top if you want something that you can also wear to the gym, really versatile jacket. Yes, yeah, so I think kind of track jacket, essentially. Yeah, doesn't have a hood, but doesn't, don't need one. No. Okay, should we talk next about this one? Yes, I love this, it's absolutely it's bonkers, but um, but also brilliant. Yes. I think we're good judges of cool or not. 
So this is from on Under Armour and it's part of their Storm range. So they've got also got a pair of waterproof shoes that kind of pairs with this jacket. It's just very, very cool. So obviously if you're calling it Storm, this is like Storm, isn't it? Yeah, and actually, I've, what does that even mean? <laughs> we, it's As got, in the design, it's like, um, Lightning, that's what I was looking for. Eloquent, eloquent. <laughs> this is what you're looking for. Concise, insightful feedback from the running channel. But the pattern itself is actually inherently reflective. So a lot of these details here, I probably can't see on camera, are reflective in themselves. So there's a degree, a good degree of visibility. It's also got a few features that you actually don't find a lot on running jackets. So if you like a drawstring at the bottom, if you want it to kind of bunch up, if you want to wear it as a fashion jacket, just around as well, you can do that. It's got pockets on both sides, which is very handy for carrying all your gels, bits and bobs as you're going out for a run. And what I really like is across the hood, it doesn't have a peaked hood, but it does have this nice little reflective rim around the top, which hopefully will mean that it's not flapping off your head as you're running. Yeah, exactly. So this one looks great. A degree of windproofing, some degree of, of water repellent finish. Um, so it'll protect you a little bit, uh, but definitely a statement as well. It is bold, it is bold. Should we move on to the next one? Yeah. Okay. And lastly, we've got this one from On. Yes, this is the weather jacket. So again, this is not aimed at being a purely hardcore waterproof jacket. There's a lot of actual breathability, if I take it from me, there's a lot of breathability um, features in that there's a vent at the back here. So actually, you get airflow up your back um, when you're running. Um, On's design is always beautiful. Um, I think they've made a statement with their shoes and their apparel. Really, um, really sleek. The pocket in particular, I really like having it up here. It's very nice, ties in with the logo. Yeah, and the fact that it's a, the layering of the pocket through this slightly translucent material does give you that cool kind of design feature, which is why it's in this category. Nice. Um, and then there's a very soft, lightweight, elasticated and peaked hood. Um, so I think the elastic on this one is particularly good. You can fold that peak up, but the hood, because you've got a bit of elastic, is still going to stick on, or you can peak it down if it is raining as well. Yeah, exactly. So then that's a quick whirlwind tour of what we think are the coolest, but what's your pick for the winner in this category? I think if you're going to win the coolest design category, then you need to make a bold statement. And that is why the award for coolest design goes to this, the Under Armour Storm Outrun the Cold jacket. Stormy, dramatic, cool. I think we got that right. Go to the pub, you'll look great. Now we're gonna take a look at the nominations for the best overall waterproof jacket. Starting off with Ron Hill Times Mountain Equipment Tech Gore-Tex Mercurial Jacket. Then we've got the OMM Original Mountain Mountain Camlica Jacket. The North Face Light Riser Future Light Jacket. And the Salomon Barati Trail Shell Jacket. So, should we start with the North Face jacket? Yeah, and this one uses Gore-Tex waterproofing technology. Two of the jackets we're talking about use Gore-Tex and two use Pertex. So slightly different membrane manufacturers of the fabric that's supposed to be both breathable and waterproof. Yeah, but all of the ones in this category are super, super waterproof, which is why we've included them. One thing to note about the North Face jacket is that it is pocketless. It does have one at the back, which you could maybe store something in, but this is mainly for stowing the jacket away. Yeah, so if you're packing it up down really small, because they're all really lightweight and whilst they kind of sound quite roughly, the, the fabrics are very lightweight and easily packable. Yeah, really like the design on this one. The colours are also beautiful. This is the women's colourway and then the men's, as you said, Cambridge blue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm biased. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I like the simplicity of these two. There's, there's fairly minimal branding, um, no patterns or anything, just very simple colours, um, no pockets, so no kind of risk of leaving a pocket open and getting it, um, getting water kind of leaking in that way. But if you do want to store some, you know, keys or phone or anything like that, you're not going to be able to do that in these. Yeah, they've both got hoods as well, and it has got an adjustable hood at the back as well, and a bit of a peak on the front too. Should we move on to the next one? Lovely, yeah. I'm going to take the OMM jacket, which is Original Mountain Marathon. So this is an epic self-navigated trail running event in the Lake District in the UK. In fact, one of our videographers, Angus, did it this year. Yes, he said it was the best thing he's ever done. Yeah. Uh, and that's some praise from someone who's regularly traveling the world, surfing and living the dream. Um, so this jacket, the fabric actually feels really different to any of the others. It's a slightly stretchier, um, again, Gore-Tex fabric this time. Um, so they test all of their products at their own event. There's, there's no more hardcore test than that. It doesn't rain much more than it does in the Lake District. So they put these on test and actually were the first manufacturer, to my understanding, to introduce this kind of stretchy waterproof fabric, which does feel it's, it's slightly softer to the touch, less kind of crispy than than some running jackets. Yeah, I would say that was the one thing with this jacket is that it definitely feels like it's been tested and that all of the kind of little tweaks have been made to mm. make it the best jacket possible. Like you've got kind of thumb holes, really minimalist on 
the adjustable straps as well and the stretch I quite like. I don't like the feeling of putting on a jacket when you go out for a run and it doesn't quite feel like a jumper whereas this feels more like a hybrid between a maybe quarter zip and a jacket. Yeah it's definitely more kind of conforms to your body less rustly so it, it feels less hardcore waterproof but it is just as waterproof. Again has an adjustable hood with a peak and this one does have two kind of conventional pockets but all of the, the seams and zips and so on are waterproofed and taped. Amazing. Should we go to the next ones? So next up we've got these, I'll give you the men's version. These are from Salomon. One feature that I want to point out straight away is on the back it's got this design which will kind of stretch and get a little bit bigger so if you want to wear this jacket over the top of a pack then you've got enough room in the back of the jacket to allow for the size of the pack as well. Yeah, I think that's a really cool feature. This is the only jacket um, that we've included from a waterproof perspective that doesn't have an adjustable hood, but it is a very close fitting hood, so it's essentially designed to not need adjustment. Yeah, and it's got the little bit of elastic within the hood as well, so that it really does stay on your forehead without flapping back in the wind. Yeah, and we mentioned different uh, waterproof fabrics. This one's Pertex, and it has a single chest pocket here on the left-hand side of the chest. Yeah got tape seams on the inside as well it doesn't feel too kind of plasticky which you sometimes get with some waterproof jackets I would say as well really nice designs I love the colors on those ones yes and Salomon have introduced new branding recently and they're one of the it's nice to see that on these jackets yeah really nice should we move on to last one yeah Okay, so last up in the waterproof category, we've got these, the Ron Hill and Mountain Equipment. These are two really, really good brands. You know you're getting good products from these brands and the fact that they've done a collaboration, I think is very, very cool. I actually really like the pops of color on this. So having Gore-Tex in the, in the bright red and then the, the zip detailing and stuff, I appreciate it's not all about aesthetics. Um, but yeah, you've, you've got Ron Hill with all of their running experience teaming up with essentially a mountaineering company for waterproofing. Yeah, so you know you're going to be safe wherever you are. If you're in extreme conditions, then this is definitely a great option to consider. You've got adjustable hood with a peak as well, so perfect for if you're out in the rain. And you've got a pocket on the front for storing stuff as well. I personally prefer having a higher pocket to a lower pocket because if you're raining, there's nothing worse than trying to fit your hands into a side pocket. Yeah, and then this one down at the bottom on your hips does have an adjustable um, piece of elastic for the kind of draw cord at the hem uh, on both sides. So we're just about to tell you which one gets our pick for the award as the best waterproof jacket but as mentioned before an honourable mention to the Innovate jacket which we included as the best breathable jacket because that's also one of the best waterproof jackets that money can buy. It is a great all-rounder and in terms of stats it pretty much matches all of the jackets in this category as well but we have to pick a winner and so the award for the most waterproof jacket goes to this the one we are clutching in our hands, the collaboration between Ron Hill and Mountain Equipment, which we both love. Very cool collab from two brands that know their stuff. So before we choose what we think is the best overall jacket, we've got the best windproof jacket. And the nominations are... The Hoka Performance Shield Jacket. And the Rab Windveil Pull-On Jacket. Okay, so let's start off with the Hoka Jacket. Interesting design for this one. They've gone for a diagonal zip. Yeah, so it's asymmetric, which is a little bit weird when you're trying to zip it up. Yeah, it does feel very strange to put on. You have also got a popper at the top of the jacket, although being so high up, I didn't really find it that useful for if you're running and then you just want to have the top bit done up. But for security of like doing the zip up and then doing the little bit at the top, you haven't got anything flapping about. Yeah, and really, you know, the focus here is on windproofing, but a really yeah. different shape. It's a much shorter jacket than a lot of the others on test. Yeah, so you have got a lot of kind of resistance against the wind, but it isn't, as you say, quite as long as some of the others. One feature I do like for windproofing, though, is the cuff. So you've got a cuff coming over the top, and then you've got this really nice soft material, which does have a thumb hole. So it's actually quite nice for keeping your wrists nice and warm. Your jacket isn't going to turn into one of those big kind of air yeah. things. <laughs> Sorry, what's it called when it blows up? Parachute? Yeah, you're not gonna... <laughs> no. And apart from that, it's a pretty simple jacket. You haven't got any pockets on this one, but it is very windproof and quite a cool design. I feel like quite a lot of brands are going for this kind of see-through material. Yeah, definitely translucent so you can see whatever you're wearing underneath, which, so you need to wear something underneath. Um, and <laughs> and there's, um, there's all of this reflective detailing on the back with the Hoka logo at the top. Amazing. Should we move on to this one? Yeah, so if I take hold of this one, this is the Rab Windveil jacket. Um, there's no hood on this one, uh, much like the Hoka one because the focus here is on windproofing, not taking on all of the elements. It's only a half zip here, um, so it's a pull-on jacket. The back panels are much thinner for breathability, but this is an incredibly lightweight jacket. Uh, it's only just over 100 grams. Um, lots of nice details. There's a 
small pocket on the back which it packs down to. It's incredibly small and packable because it's so thin and lightweight, but that also doubles as quite a good credit card, you know, when you're out on a run or maybe a gel or some supplies like that. Yeah, I do like with this one how it's so small, you could literally just have it in the back of your pack if you're going out for a run and you don't know how cold it is. But it's also a really nice hybrid between jacket and jumper. If you want something that is windproof, but is also just warm, sometimes you can put a jacket on and they don't necessarily give you that instant warmth. Whereas because the back is more like a jumper material, it's instantly a bit more warm. Yeah, just the protection. So my preference here is, is a a t-shirt, then a thin long sleeve or a base layer, um, and then this over the top, and that yeah. gives you really good protection against the wind. And so the award for the best windproof jacket goes to this, the Rab Windveil jacket, which is really nice as well because Rab are a well-established mountaineering company from the UK, uh, and this is actually their first real foray into technical running apparel, running clothing, and they've done a brilliant job. Yeah, they've hit the nail on the head. They've created something that is practical, keeps you um, warm from the wind, but also looks really nice as well. Yeah, winner. So now on to the main event. We're going to be awarding the prize for the best overall jacket 2022. Andy, would you like to do the honours? I would love to. And the winner is the best overall jacket in 2022, the Innovate Storm Shell. It won the category for breathability, but to be honest, it could have won all of them. Yes. Well, great job, Innovate. If you're enjoying this video, please do give it a like because if we can get to over two and a half thousand likes and you comment below to let us know which jacket is your favourite and why, we're going to choose what we think is the best answer to send one of these jackets to. Hopefully that's cleared up which jacket you should be buying this winter, but make sure you click here as I guarantee if you watch this video, you might surprise yourself with which running watch you want to buy.